Hey, I'm Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over nine business ideas that will be huge this year. Now, be sure to watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think is the best business model for this year. But let's get started now, no time to waste. Let's jump into number nine. And that is being a home personal fitness coach. You know, I think this year would be a great year to start a personal fitness coach business at home. Ever since the industry started about 50 years ago, this seemingly saturated but profitable business idea continues to make millionaires year in and year out. And personal fitness coaches in the gym are really proud of their work. And the incorporation of technology and social media has taken fitness digital. And then if you add in sponsorships, maybe affiliates, creating your own product line, and of course, becoming a personal trainer, and even a health coach, you know, it's really a booming business at the moment. Not only that, the demand for personal trainers is predicted to have 39% growth by the year 2030. So it's best to get in right now before it's oversaturated. All right, coming in at number eight is to become a social media manager. You know, social media is a must have if you're running any sort of business. That's why being a social media manager is highly coveted and continues to be a huge business idea for this year. TikTok is one of the social media apps whose audience is growing vastly and aimed at young people and it's definitely still rising in the apps. There are, however, other apps such as, you know, Be Real, you've probably heard about it, that are becoming white hot that most older folks don't know about. Plus, you have to make sure you have content for things like Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. It goes on and on, but of course, you don't have to do all of them. But even with just three or more, it's very time consuming and that's why a social media manager is much needed. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said that the demand for social media managers will be up 9% by 2025. So why not start this year big as a social media manager as the median earnings are around about $57,000, but you can earn well above $100,000 in no time. All right, coming in at number seven is to do travel services. You know, people have always loved to travel and this year will be a great year for travel services. And hopefully with the pandemic behind us, people are gonna be starting to explore more and more. Travel services like travel agencies don't only just provide you know, discounted flights for people, but they also help set you up with an itinerary, where to stay, where to eat, uh, you know, just how to create a budget for your, your trip. They pretty much plan the whole trip for you. you know, in short, it's like making someone come up with an itinerary for you and you pay and then you go. It's a fantastic thing. If you'd like to take things a little bit further though, if you're a part of Airbnb, you can either offer your services as someone's personal host or tour guide in the city or the place where the traveler is gonna be interested in. You know, make money being someone's personal travel agent and tour guide and you know, you can charge a pretty penny for it. If you DIY it and have your own website and social media presence with you know, reviews and things like that, it's a great way to drive traffic to your business and earn a few extra thousand dollars every month. All right, coming in at number six is photography. And that's because events will always come here and there and with the amount of events canceled during the pandemic years, this year is gonna see a rise of, you know, different weddings and gender reveal parties and all these different special occasions. And I think that this is your sign that you might be able to start up a good photography business. You know, photography services have grown 10% from 2021 to 2022, and it's expected to grow another 8% next year. So if you're good with a camera, even, you know, your phone camera, or you've got like a cheap DSLR, capture those moments and let people have a professional photo shoot with you and make money from it. All right, in at number five is one you might not have heard of before, but these are pet services. You know, there are countless pet owners around the world and I think it's safe to say that this isn't gonna end anytime soon. The number of dog owners will continue to rise because let's face it, dogs are man's best friend and they're just awesome. And you know, that means that dog grooming and dog sitting services are a timeless business. And if you didn't know, pet services are expected to make a $50 billion market opportunity for 2023. So what are you waiting for? So what I'd recommend you do is grab your phone and call and text people who need someone to look after their favorite pet while they go out for an evening or away on a vacation. All right, coming in at number four is a webinar business. So the internet has been a huge part of our entire lives, so we've all learned how to do everything we do from the internet. And you know, even with events, some people still do it all virtually. And this is where a webinar business comes in. So basically with this, you're gonna be responsible for designing and developing a webinar class for your client on their chosen topic. As easy as it might sound, it requires more research and knowledge than you think. It's also generally believed that webinars are more speaker-centered than visually oriented. So you do need to have a little bit of confidence in your communication skills if you wanna try this out. However, if you're selling a course or a skill that you're teaching, having a webinar allows you to record your video and allows you to sell your webinar at a price, which can turn into passive income. I'll make some other videos about how to uh, create a webinar 
later on in my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see that. All right, so we're getting to the top three best businesses that you should start this year. And number three is a vacation rental business. And that's because vacation rental businesses are set to be huge this year. You know, who doesn't want a long-term stay in a house with your own privacy and at a lower pricing than most hotels? It sounds like a pretty good advertisement to me. You probably know this, but Airbnb is the largest place out there if you wanna be doing this. And you know, almost most metropolitan areas will be visited by family and friends. So why not capitalize their stays by having a recurring income? People love the idea of resting at a nice place that also feels like home. And this is the difference between going to a hotel and your own place. And if you can make your place a really relaxing place to be, you're gonna be making more money than ever. As people love to travel around the country and around the world, and they also love low costs, I think this is a great business idea that's only gonna grow into the future. And the great thing is the business is rising from its falls during the pandemic and starting to earn more and more revenue every year. So design your relaxing home and go for gold. All right, we're getting to the second best business idea, which is subscription boxes. So if you don't know, subscription boxes are packages that are delivered into your doorstep in a recurring manner. Now, this business model is still pretty much in its infancy, but some subscription boxes include monthly shipments of makeup, maybe dog food, groceries, and batteries to name a few of it. Though there's basically nothing that we can't have shipped to us these days, we live in an amazing world. The unpredictability of what's coming to you excites customers. You know, ever since subscription boxes started out, it's a trend that's rapidly growing. And with revenues ballooning from $2.6 billion in 2016, all the way to $22 billion in 2021, the current projection shows that subscription boxes can only do better as time goes by. All right, so let's get to the number one best business model to start this year. And this is vehicle charging stations. And that's because vehicle charging stations are my absolute dark horse and my favorite to be the next greatest technology next to electric vehicles themselves. You know, electric vehicles have been a huge trend for the last few years, and this is one of the best business ideas to capitalize on this trend. Put up a vehicle charging station and be the first in your area and watch customer reviews and money come in. I think it's time to change the history of gas powered vehicles and gas stations. You know, with e-cars, uh, e-bikes, e-scooters, and bloody everything to be e-release soon, this is definitely gonna be booming next year. So I can get in on the ground floor because this is gonna be a really, really big business in the next coming years and no one's doing it at the moment. So let me know in the comments down below what you think is the best business model to start this year. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys uh, think is gonna be huge. Uh, good luck if you're gonna be starting any of these. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.